most times when i have scraps in my fridge like leftover vegetables and some baits i tend to come up with <laughs> some kind of combination so in today's video i will show you guys how i made up this dinner for myself this is cauliflower rice if you're looking for a low carb alternative if you're on a keto diet cauliflower rice is something you need to incorporate in your diet and even if you're not on a keto diet you just need to cut down on your carbohydrate intake these are the kind of things you eat guilt-free every day shouldn't be rice 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 you, you finish eating you start feeling guilty <laughs> So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to rice a cauliflower and also how to make cauliflower rice. So I've got the head of cauliflower, put them into floret, wash them and I riced it in my food processor just for a few seconds to have this consistency. You can make this into cauliflower bread, cauliflower pizza, cauliflower rice. You can put them straight in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. Whenever you need it, you can just rice it the way i'll be showing you if you don't have a food processor you can use a regular grater hand grater just grate it into riced form it's very easy so into a hot pan medium to low heat i added some coconut oil sauteed some onions and garlic this part is totally optional you mustn't even put oil sometimes i don't i just stir fry it straight on with some salt so i sauteed some onions and some garlic a few weeks ago i made cauliflower bread so this was actually the leftover cauliflower i told you guys about so it was in the freezer so i strained it out just to release excess moisture which sometimes is still okay but it sometimes it might get soggy so i just strain out excess liquid so i added the cauliflower into the pan and i pan fry this for about five to eight minutes you don't want to cover it you just want to stir it occasionally just like broccoli cabbage cauliflower has a very strong unpleasant sulfur smell so it's best to use it straight on by cooking or you put it in the freezer so while it's still frying i added some salt you can just spice it up you can add some seasoning cube you can add kenju seasoning you can add turmeric to change the color just feel free you can even add crayfish you can add korean thyme you can just feel free it's vegetable i added some fresh um scotch bonnet pepper sometimes i don't do that i just do straight on add turmeric just to change the color to give that jello fries vibe so it can never go wrong so if you love your rice so much you can just use this and add a little bit of rice with lots of this so i garnished with some parsley and it's all ready so cauliflower whenever you cook it it's that funky smell goes off and you can keep it in your fridge for as long as four days and then i've got this tofu i was just thinking what other way would i make this tofu i want it something different instead of the regular block cube form so into a hot pan i added some tofu i just broke the tofu off roughly breaking i don't want it all shredded so i was planning to do like a scrambled tofu seasoned with some salt some kenju seasoning just to make it tasty yeah some stock cube just a little bit just to get it tasty because this tofu they come plain they are not seasoned and they usually come in a liquid like water so i drained it off and just medium to medium to low heat i just fried it i kept stirring kept stirring and i think i did this for about 10 minutes and i knew it was done because the cooking time will be faster So this is what it looks like all fried up hmm. another amazing thing i should have done was to add like turmeric that would enhance the color so i'm not vegan <laughs> because my plate tonight i'm just realizing that everything was just looking vegan 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 so i was making fried plantain and some fried yam and fried cocoa yam for my family and i thought of adding some of the plantain to my plate why not <laughs> so i added a few plantain to my plate and I paired the cauliflower rice, the tofu, the plantain with some pepper stew. So that's that of my family and this mine. So because I don't want the temptation of yam because I love all this yam. They are all high carb. Oh yeah. So this is my dinner. I hope you enjoyed this video. The truth is that rice cauliflower like this does not taste like real rice. We know real rice has its own taste. But cauliflower rice tastes just like cauliflower florets which is like a mild cabbagey kind of yeah i call it like broccoli cabbagey type of um flavor and after making the tofu i felt like the tofu looks dry so maybe some other time i'm going to add a little bit of um like a stock to loosen it up and make it extra fluffy and moist 
and that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching bye